Hi, my name is Joseph Trell. I'm going to show you how to take the uh, injector nozzles out of this A1 or AI-400 Max engine right here. So first off, you got six of these bolts right here, all on this valve cover. You want to unbolt all of them, take it off, set it aside or set it on your tool so you can set them in order. Once you do that, you want to come to right here your fuel rail, which is connected to your uh, your secondary fuel pump, your high uh, secondary fuel pump. Your first, your primary fuel pump, which is the low one, is right here, which has a fuel line that runs down here to a fuel rail, which distrib uh, distributes the fuel all all the way to all uh, six injectors, your high flow injectors. But on this side, what you want to do, get your 19 millimeter, break all these loose, and the bottom ones. And then kind of move this plate over so you can see a little bit better, easier to get to. Once you do that, kind of unbolt all these. Once you do that, pull these up, slide them out slowly. You don't want to bend these. Set them aside. These right here are your fuel nozzles. They go right through the head to your uh, your fuel nozzle that goes to your uh, your cylinder. So it pushes gas inside the cylinder so it causes combustion. Take all those out. And then right up here on top, get to your fuel nozzle you got these nuts takes a five eighths hex gun and just tighten these Once you get all these off, you want to try to find a fine thread screw. Uh, luckily on this one, it's the uh, valve cover bolt. So all you do is you should take a uh, fine thread screw, kind of screw it down on the uh, fuel nozzle, and then kind of pull up. And then here you go. Here's the fuel nozzle right there. There's one of them. You can actually take this apart fix it if you got a bad screen. third one all right now when you take these out and you look at them this part right here goes all the way through the head and it connects right there to spray the fuel in so this tightens down becomes a very tight squeeze and no fuel will leak out of there and it come and the fuel gets shot down into the cylinder through right here the fuel nozzle and that it's the fuel nozzle right here. So when you go to go put these back in, you got a little pin right here. So you want to look down in the hole. Grab my flashlight. And if you look, there's a little little notch down there to where that pin goes in. It slides in. So. Here, click. That's how you know it's in there. 
like that. And you just go to your next one and pretty much repeat what you just did. That clicking noise will let you know that pretty much the pin popped into place. Got that done. Put your caps back on. Now, when you go to go put these caps back on, make sure you put your uh, fuel rails back in. Uh, once you get those put back in, to make sure that you have your fuel nozzle lined up. Once you got it tightened down like that, put this side on. Make sure you don't bend this as much as possible or you can so once you get done with that and you know that that went inside the fuel nozzle you want to tighten the cap down to about 75 pounds and once you tighten that down to 75 pounds you want to come down to these and get your torque wrench with the crow's foot on it 19 millimeter go on there and tighten this down to 40 pounds and then come down here and tighten this down to 40 pounds as well. And once you do that, put your valve cover back on, tighten those back down. There you go. That's how you change out fuel nozzles.